Hey, what's up, peoples? It's your boy, John the Segway. Hey, check this out. Today's video, we're talking about the DJI Action 4 and the four new features that DJI just released probably a few, few days ago from the time that I actually shot this video. So let's get into it. Let me show you guys what it's all about. So in your video shooting mode, there's a thing that the DJI has added to the Action 4, and this is only the Action 4, not the Action 3, guys, where the camera will pre-record up to 5, 10, 15, 30 and 60 seconds before you actually press the record button. So what that does is if you guys have the action camera, let's just say you was walking around and you saw a pretty cool car. But the car was going too fast. So you didn't actually quite get to press the button before you can actually see the car and get it on your video. Well, if you ever ever don't want to miss a shot like that again here's how you fix that to get access to this feature you want to turn your camera on by simply pressing the power button on the side once your camera fires up on the very bottom where it says 2.7 or any resolution whatever your resolution is you want to press that and if you look to the top left you see the camera you press that and this is mode okay you slide it to the left to access pre-record or just press it. And you can set how many seconds before the action before it starts recording. We'll do 30 seconds before. We're gonna press the back button, swipe down, and you'll see a timer on the camera. Come on. You see it on the top left, next to five hours and 37 minutes, which is by the way, in this recording mode, that's how much time I have available to record and you see it's doing a countdown. Right now, this camera is recording without actually recording. So if I press the, the shutter button, which would be the record button on the top, it will, everything up until 20 seconds, 21, 22 seconds, before I press the button, it will add it to the video and then start recording right now, as soon as I press the actual record button. Now, if you put that setting on and you turn the camera off, we'll turn it back on and we'll see what happens. Nothing happens. So you guys, in order to use this feature, you have to do this every time you turn the camera on. Is this useful? Maybe, maybe not. If you guys are walking around with your camera, for example, around your neck, or if you have a head strap and you wanna use that function, let's say you're out somewhere and you anticipate something happening, but you don't know when exactly it's going to happen, that feature would be very, very useful. The kicker to that is it is going to use more battery power. GoPro has this feature as well. With the GoPro, it's the same kind of deal. The camera has to be on. You have to go into settings. When you turn your camera on, you have to set it and the camera must stay on. As soon as you turn the camera off, that feature disables. All right. Next feature that Go uh, DJI added to the Action 4. And remember, guys, this is not the Action 3. This is strictly Action 4. This is something that you can use with the remote and or the camera by itself. So what you wanna do is you wanna just start recording. It doesn't matter which recording mode, what resolution, that doesn't matter. You press the record button. It's recording, right? Okay, while it's recording, if you look on the side where the power button is, this power button has two functions. It's a QC button and it's a uh, it's a on and off button. And it also switches between quick recording modes. If you press this button once, I'm gonna press it. Did you see that check? I'm gonna press it again. Okay, so that's adding highlights to your video. So let's, once again, if you are recording with the camera on a mount like this, DJI has their own version of this mount, Ulanzi does, and Telesyn, and there may be others on the internet, but let's just say you're walking around and you're recording, you're doing something like this, right? You see something pretty cool, you just press the little power button on the side. I keep going to the wrong side. You press the power button, and then get the check mark. When you're doing post editing, and this only works for the Nemo app, okay? It will have those highlights in the video. So if that were, if something happened that was cool and you for sure wanna put some attention on that part of your video, you will see those highlights. Now, if you wanna use it with the remote, I'm gonna power the remote on, which by the way, the remote, it quickly connects to the camera. Okay, so it's connected and it'll tell you, it'll prompt you on the screen telling you, hey, we're connected to the remote. Now you get that same function by this button right here. You see the QC button on the remote? Make it a little brighter. All you gotta do is press it. Oh, it's updating the remote. How convenient while we're in the middle of making a video. 
If you have the camera and you're doing playback, right now it's doing a playback, all right? We have the remote. Pressing the QS button stops the whole playback, period. I'll press the record button once. I'll tap it and see what it does. It does nothing. So you cannot use that function with the remote. It kind of says it does, but it's not working. As you guys can see, pressing the QS button while doing playback doesn't actually set highlights. So that's something you guys can use. Like I said, this function only works for the DJI Nemo app. If you guys are using any other program to edit your videos, as of right now, those highlights will not be visible for you to actually utilize for whatever you need to use the highlights for. This next update option is gonna be one of my favorites because I get to take you guys on the Nami scooter. So I get to show you guys how this thing sounds with the new wind noise feature. So now you can set the wind noise to standard or high. Right now it's on standard. Now in order to use this feature, you have to be in 1080p resolution. The frame rate doesn't matter. You just have to be in 1080p. So being that we have the remote, I can show you guys the telemetry data and how it sounds. Now here's an elephant in the room when it comes to this wind noise thing, but we're gonna talk about that after we finish doing this part of the test. So we're gonna go about 50 miles an hour facing me. Okay, this is high facing. Let's talk about the elephant. This guy. What exactly is this? They call this a wind slayer. So you take your action four or your action three, you put it inside this guy, and you got something that looks like this, okay? And here's a close up. You have access to your power button on the side. You have access to the quick trip, your quick, quick trip. <laughs> you got access to your record button up top, your screen up back, okay? Just make sure your battery's charged when you use this. But this allows you to walk around and since the Action 3 and the Action 4 cameras are known for their battery power, you saw what I did there? Um, just put a fully charged battery in here and you're gonna have a long time of recording. Now, the kicker to this is, this does trap heat. Your camera is not likely to overheat unless you just have it sitting on and you're not moving at all. Even a little bit of, bree a little bit of a breeze will still keep this camera cool enough inside of this windsock Link will be in the description below. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And um, you guys want to hear what it sounds like with the wind, the wind noise off standard and on high? Come on, let's go back on the NAMI we go. Okay, so if you guys want to be able to record at a higher resolution than 1080p, you get your wind slayer, slap it on, and then you can do whatever, you can do whatever recording resolution you want to use. At the same, oh shit. The wind slayer is gonna sound like this. Now, right now we're on stereo. All the tests perform in stereo. We got standard, uh, the wind noise is off. The wind reduction is off. And this is what it's gonna sound like. And it's pretty windy today, so you guys should hear some good wind.
what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like. And uh, that's it. Any questions? Wind noise, wind reduction? Now, before I let you guys go to the next subject, wind reduction is limited to 1080p because of the processing. It takes a lot of processing to push that wind reduction up a little bit higher. Now, some of you guys, you know, GoPro, just a quick, just a quick mention on GoPro, okay? GoPro has been known to overheat. GoPros have been known to run through its battery a lot faster. The thing with GoPros are, they they do all this processing, all this stuff that DJI is gonna slowly give to you guys, they're gonna slowly give it to you. GoPros, they do that all the time. Image stabilization, why do you think their image stabilization is so good? The GPS data, that was another thing with a GPS chip. It was always kind of running in the background if you didn't turn it off. GoPro tried to rectify it by adding extra features. They had like a high performance mode, extended battery mode, and tripod mode to reduce the processing power. But I feel like the processor was always still doing the extra stuff in the background. That's why they ended up taking out the GPS chip with the Hero 12, and you see the percentage, the increase. So DJI has just released this little image stabilization, the, the, the wind reduction, the high wind reduction. That's going to burn up the processor in the background. It's going to use the battery a little faster. Camera's going to get a little warmer a little faster when you have it on high. So usually I see high for people who are doing motorsports or any type of sports that requires you to be constantly in a breeze of some sort, whether you're skiing, whether you're riding a motorcycle, electric scooter, uh, unis electric unicycle, a bicycle, walking or running, then the wind noise on high is gonna work. But like I told you guys, the elephant in the room, AKA that wind slayer is going to have to, it, it will allow you to run at a higher resolution and still have that protection from the wind without having to put the wind protection on high. Get what I'm saying? Got it? Good, next thing. DJI said they've optimized the skin tone performance in portrait mode. So I'm assuming when you take a photo in portrait mode, DJI's uh, Action 4 is portrait mode. The camera, the photos is very, very basic. You get to update, you get to uh, modify the Kelvin, you get to modify the exposure, but you don't get to do any hardcore details. Okay, it's just an action camera, but they said they've improved the performance on that. So uh, yeah. This update, if you guys haven't done it yet, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have, but if you haven't, this update did reset basically all of your settings as far as like cycling through the photo, the video, the HDMR, or the HDR, sorry, um, hot travel lapse, time lapse. It reset it all that. I had made some pre-selects pre for low light recording, and they were deleted. So be aware of that when you do this update, it is going to delete that because they said they improved the functionality of the scrolling of going between photo, video, blah, 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 blah. So if you have the remote as well, make sure you turn the remote on after you've updated the camera and the camera will automatically send the update to the remote and any functions that you can use with the remote, with the camera for any of these updates, it will go on ahead and add the updates to the uh, remote. So without further ado, guys, that's all I got. That's all the little things. They said there's some minor bugs and fixes, whatever that means. Um, that's all it, man. That's it. Jay on the Segway. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, if you like the channel. If you don't like it, I don't want you to be here. Don't worry about subscribing. I'll get to my thousand subscribers eventually, all right? But anyways, um, that's all I got, man. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys something. And I was the first person, I'm pretty sure, I was the first person to find this out with the Action 3 or to try to see if the Action 3 would allow me to do this. What exactly am I talking about? Well, you turn the Action 4 on, okay? Got the Action 4, we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna go to playback. Playback is going to be that right there, the little, little plus button. Wind okay. Slayer is on. Camera is okay. Forward. Now we got the vo we got the volume on. 
we're watching the playback. We got the volume on, right? Now, how do you turn the volume on? Well, if you press the screen during playback, you see right here on the top corner, you got the little volume button, and then you got a slider for your volume. However, if you guys have a headset, right, that has a 3.5 millimeter jack, this is the Rhodes headset. This is Rhodes' very first and only that I know of headset, right? I really like this thing, by the way. If you guys want to hear how the audio sounds during playback without using the speaker, the built-in speaker of the Action 4, you can use this headset to do it. Hey, what is this? All you need is this Samsung or Google. I recommend only buying this in store. You could go to a Target, you can go to a Best Buy, go to the cell phone section and look for the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter cable. It's this short, it's only like two inches long. Pause. You take your 3.5 millimeter end, one's gonna go in a headset if, you, if it can detach. The other one is just the other end, okay? You plug it into the 3.5 millimeter end, locate the USB-C port on the Action 4. I've been asking DJI to make this a thing with, since the Action 3. When I found out that you can use the headset to listen to the audio during playback on the Action 3, I've been asking DJI through my videos, hey, can you guys make this an option where I can turn up and down the volume using a headset? They've done it with the Action 4, guys. You plug this 3.5 millimeter end into the Action 4, nothing extra is gonna happen. You're just gonna be able to control the volume with the headset. I'm gonna turn the slider on. You guys hear that? That's fire. You're welcome. 